Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We're doing okay, I think. Uh, we are leading the race for Mars. We have 17% Mars readiness. The closest is China with 13. We are going on a Saturn flyby. In nine months, we are going to launch the Solar Observatory in two months. We have the orbital way station completing in five months and the Martian biological experiments in two months. We are researching the Jupiter flyby. We're, well, next month we'll be around halfway there. So let's just keep going. And next month, and then we launch the Solar Observatory. Martian biological experiments payload complete. Nice. And it has power. All right, so there is some build cost and build time adjustments there. And our solar observatory is ready to go. We have pretty good reliability. Let's do it. Let's do it. Weather is looking good. And conditions are good. 4% risk of going boom. Let's see what's ha what happens. Let's see what happens. Looking good so far. Still going good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are out of there. And we get a secure launch. All good. Almost a, a critical positive. And our Ariane booster gets a little bit more reliable. Perfect. Okay. Solar Observatory. Let's see what we need. We need to contend with drift. We have a margin of minus one to one. We need 12 comms, 4 data, and 4 nav. All right. Well, if we start by doing this, we have 4 turns and 3 commands per turn. Then we can do that. And then we can do that. So that gives us two zero four and a drift of one. I think that's an okay start. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, overall realignment. Oh, that didn't go well. Let's resist it. And there we go. 204. Okay, so. We can do this. Then. We can do that, six, two, one, and then we can use one to take a two back, get it in the center and get a bit of those. So I think that's fine. Five, three, two, we have now. We need to really get our comms going. Perfect. All right, so to get our comms going, if we do this twice, then we can do this once. That gives us our comms that we need. So let's do that. Then we need some of those and need three.
and two. I think we can do it. I think this is fine. That was a terrible attempt. Uh, let's resist it. And that went well, and the fly all course adjustment went well as well. All right. So if we do this, then we can do this and this. And that gets us there. We can resist once our drift is all good. So let's go ahead and do this. That's what, that'll be our one resist. Ah, come on! Damn it. Alright, no bonus. That sucks. That sucks. I don't think I played that very well. 935,000 though. And some loyalty or diplomatic relations with uh, NASA. So that's getting up there. Alright. So we have a mission that we can do. Long duration flight. For that we get improved guidance system plus 20% chance of positive event during launch. That's actually quite nice. It's nice support and it's decent science as well. Uh, the orbital way station we're already doing. Oh, that is a nice one. Neutral chance. Neutral event chance is converted to positive event chance during launch. That is so sweet. Do we have any milestone missions we can do here? Space telescope. Let's plan that mission. 954 support 6,720 science. And we'll do it first. So let's plan that. I think we'll give it more power for a little bit more money. How much more money? It's only a couple hundred thousand. Let's select that and build the payload. All right. So that's seven months away. Then we have the Martian biological experiments. Uh, wait, uh, go back. Why don't I have my load thing? Where am I saved? Did I, oh, I deleted them all, didn't I? I think I deleted them all. Uh, I suppose we might as well. Oh, the Athena. 60% launch reliability only, though. And it takes a long time to build, so let's do the Agena. And then we can do the Atlas, maybe? Or uh, or the Ariani. Ah, uh, but then we need these. That takes it up to 531,000, so then we might as well do this one. What does the stability or launch reliability go to 80? So we might as well do the Atlas. So, Agena and Atlas, uh, everything is ticked in the box. 85% launch reliability, 75% payload reliability. So, composite casing? I mean, it's pretty cheap already, right? 608,000, it's not that. Minus one, minus one month build time might actually be nice. So it'll save us around 70,000, 76,000 if we do the composite casing. But you know what? I think I want the payload reliability up to 80% for 100,000. That's fine. Uh, contractor. Green Moon. Mm. 
we don't get any support for this. So we'll just do it ourselves. I don't want to extend the build time for 10% more reliability. So we'll just do it ourselves and we'll call it the Colossus. That is all good. Build vehicle. Six months. All right. Next month. Budget review. And we do hit the next tier. So we go up from 561,000 to 612,000. Uh, funds per month. Well, that's pretty good. Um, okay. Uh, what does it, did it say? Japan is launching Saturn flyby in six months. And that's based. No, it's completed. Solar Observatory. Okay. That's fine. We're launching Saturn flyby in six months, and so is Japan. I can live with that. We're completing the Beetlejuice in two months. That's the... Uh, what's it called? Jupiter flyby research complete. Despite, despite its massive size, Jupiter remains a mysterious planet. Uh, by launching a probe which will perform a close flyby, we can finally make a detailed study of this cosmic giant. The probe will take pictures, record the planet's electromagnetic field, and study its complex atmosphere. Okay. And the orbital way station vehicle is complete. Suboptimal launch windows become optimal launch windows. I like that. I like that a lot. The launch reliability isn't the greatest. We need some crew. Hmm. Mm. Let's go back. I can't see the training. All right, so let's choose our uh, problem solver. And... Is there support? There is. Well, there's science as well. I would have liked the science, but I don't have any scientists ready. So... Let's select that. Away for four months. I only have one scientist, and there's no scientist to hide. That kind of blow. Or it's higher. Alright, well, I guess we'll do this. And the launch date will be May. I could wait until August for the plus 25% support. I don't know. I don't know. Let's do June. Let's do June. Confirm. Three months. All right. Excuse me, I have something stuck in my throat. I just need to cough. Oops. <clears throat> okay, buildings. That's actually not half bad. Plus ten percent support gained from missions. Hmm. So that's one, two, three that we would need. Hmm. All right, you know what? Let's unlock tier two scientists. Let's unlock tier two science or uh, not scientists, astronauts. Okay. 
next month. I have a request list in here. Atmospheric sensors. It's pretty good science. Wow, that's very good money. And we are launching that. I forgot that that was so much money. Ooh, nice. Can't wait to get that. And that science is nice too, though. Do we have any... Well, we don't have any milestone missions here. All right. All right. That's fine. Let's continue on. We're at 18% Mars readiness now. All right. Uh, Martian biological experiments vehicle complete. Mission training boost bonus increased by 100%, but the payload reliability reduced by 10, but it's already pretty reliable. 85. And we are launching the orbital way station. All right. Good support. Very good support. It's challenging. 60%, 69% launch reliability, 80%. Um, payload reliability. And it's our shuttle. I like our shuttle. Wow, the tower is huge. Okay, good conditions. Six percent risk of going boom. Let's see. Let's see. All right. So far, so good. Looking good. Yeah, baby, go. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And, oh, damn it. On a challenging mission, I did not need that. Okay, the Hermes got more reliable. Very nice. Alright, orbital way station. We have drift to contend with, and we have crew to help us. We have a one, we're at minus one to one margin. Okay. We have two crew. And we need to get 49. Wow. And we have five turns and three commands per turn. All right, what if we did this? That gives us three, seven, and two. But I think that's worth it. I think that's pretty good. Because then we can do this twice next turn and get 12. Yeah. yeah. I think that's pretty good. Of course. Uh, you know what? We don't need that, so that's okay. Ah. Uh, Uh, we'll resist this one. We'll be reduced by two. That's definitely going to be resisted. All right, so we can do the gyroscopic stabilization twice now. That takes us up to 15. And... We could spend a data and a power to get us up to 21. I think that's pretty darn good. Come on! It's supposed to happen one time out of five. We'll resist that. 
accept that. And the overall plane adjustment was good too. Okay, now in theory, we could do this three times. You know what? I think we will. Nice. Okay, so we have two turns remaining. So what we can do is we can do this twice and recharge. And that gets us there if we only have to resist once. Pretty decent. Nice. We are guaranteed to win. Cool. All right. That was Earth orbit. Then we need to deploy space station systems. Okay. And then we have drift to contend with again. And it's starting at plus one. Okay. So how about we do a... Signal attenuation test, then conduct some experiments and a flight path control two seven two. That's okay. Experiments went well, and flight path control was good too. And this fluctuates minus two to two. So, yeah. So if we do this and this, that gives us one fourteen and four. <clears throat> then we need to do a signal att attenuation test to get our drift corrected. Or infrared mapping but I really don't want to use too many of our nav modules because they're quite high hard to come by in this scenario so yeah we'll do a signal attenuation test yeah of course uh, we cost an additional one uh, I think we're going to have to resist that. Yeah, we are. Because that would take us outside. Okay. And, wow. Minus two, okay. Hmm. So we can use that for for comms. Then we can use an infrared mapping to push us up within drift range. And then an external sensor alignment, I think. That takes us to 20 data. All right, let's do it. Very good, nice. And it stayed neutral. Okay. So, 
so I think I want to do that one. Now we need to get some nav. We have two turns remaining. If we do this, that gets us, that gets us the nav that we want. But then, how do we get? the comms that we want. We can do manu manual data collection for four. And then it really depends on what the drift does. Because we could do this twice and that would take us to 13. Provided we have the power. We could also... I didn't need to do that. We could also do emission control monitoring. That gives us five. Then a flight path control. That gives gets us this stuff back. But that puts us two in this direction. And that wouldn't be enough. All right. We're doing this on this turn. And we could do this. Oh, no. I can't. I can't. This would almost get me there, but then we'd need five. So then we could do one of these. That would take us to five. Then I need three more, which I wouldn't be able to get. All right, we're doing this one. Then I think we do this one. And then we do this one. 9236. Yeah, I think that's a better option. And of course, we have to assist. Um, I think I'm going to accept that. Nice. It wasn't one of the ones that we we're struggling for, but. Okay. So we're going to have to do that. And then we can do that. And that gets us there. And we can even recharge to have one. Oh, it doesn't get us there, man. Damn it. It doesn't get us there. So how about... We do that. And that. And then I need three. No, I need four. Oh, damn it. But what if we did this? That does not work.
And I need three, and I need... Uh, uh, damn it! I don't think we're getting the bonus here. We're going to need an extra comms if we we want to get the bonus. Yeah! Yes! Yeah! Nice! That does it. We get the 50% bonus reward because of a very lucky break. A very, very lucky break indeed. That was nice. And that's cool. All right. 4,359 support we get for that. And 264 science for 25 months. And we get the advanced guidance system. Not bad. Not bad. And they'll be on the space station for 12 months. That's right. That was a lot of support. We're almost at the next tier already. Alright, so we have a mission slot. Oh, and we need to do the Martian biological experiments. Which we'll do payload training for. And we'll set a launch date of next month. Because I don't want to go here and have to wait forever. So, July. Alright. And then we have a mission slot available. We did just research the Jupiter flyby. So, I suppose we could go do that. They're launching in 12 months. Let's plan the mission. We'll give it some extra power. I just really like having extra power. And that'll take five months to build. So hopefully the Japanese, they fail, but other, if they don't, then we'll just be second. And I am actually okay with that. So that means that we'll have the Saturn flyby and the Jupiter flyby going. That's two long-term missions. So let's see. This is a 37 month mission. Uh, we can't see how many months this mission is. Can we see it over here at Jupiter? 21 month mission so that's two long term missions I like the moons look at that it's very very cool and you can even see the asteroid belt out here that is so nice what? why is that one glowing so cool so cool alright uh, so we have no active mission slots. Uh, the granite is complete. We'll be launching both the Martian biological experiments and the Saturn flyby next month. We are researching the neutral buoyancy lab. We are at 19% Mars readiness. China is still at 13. Japan is catching up at 10. Soviet 9% and NASA is really lagging behind at 4%. Okay. Anyway, that is all we have time for in this one, guys, because we won't be able to launch these two within the time frame allotted. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.